When rocket scientist Todd Mendenhoff set out to design Panzer Mark III, he started by building on his previous Robotica experience. We learned what designs work, what designs don't work. And we are trying to incorporate some of those lessons learned into our new design. We're slightly modifying the drive train to give us about 70% more power and torque. In order to save some weight, we have replaced the two batteries with approximately 200 NICAD cells that are grouped in banks of eight. Panzer Mark III also has an innovative drive system that can actually shift gears from a low that peaks at 11 miles per hour to a high that goes over 20. But the front plow is the key to this bot, driven by a non-linear four-bar linkage optimized for lifting and flipping. This high-performance machine has Robotica in its genes. And it doesn't take a rocket scientist to see how great time chances are. A solid robot with a sparse lead. Now let's turn our attention to his opponent, the Re-Introverter. From the depths of the Shimoda family lawnmower business comes the incredible Re-Introverter. It's like 10 times faster than a lawnmower. And it's around 10 times stronger, too. It's faster and stronger because it's driven by a pair of powerful E-Tech golf cart motors. The motor has 8 horsepower continuous, 15 horsepower peak and they can operate up to a minute, close to 300 amps. But what really makes re the bot to beat is the feature that gave it its name, the ability to run right side up and upside down. It's symmetrical. It's got the same ground clearance that's on the top and the bottom. A full four and a half inches of clearance, making re nimble enough to run circles around and above other robots. re has got the right stuff to go all the way. It's time to give re the chance to even score, and he's gonna do it in the labyrinth, and here's how it works. Six challenges got six glass panes. The tougher the challenge, the more points the pane of glass is worth. Smash through them all and get past the gates to the final pane, and the bonus points are yours. Now watch out for the robotic rat because they're coming for you, baby. Let's go down to Dan Dagnick. Thanks, Tanya. Panzer Mark III wants to win it all, and he plans to do it with confrontation. They have a totally redesigned wedge for destroying their opponent. It's got multiple geometries, a two-stage sweep, and reinforced aluminum. These changes are based on everything you learned last night at the bottom. Where your introverter's got speed, but no weapon. The labyrinth will probably be decided with a fight. Expect Panzer Mark III to pick up where he left off in the last event. I'll stick with my advice for introverter. Duck. Back to you. Thanks, Dan. Here comes Todd Mendenhall's Panzer Mark III on the left, and Ted Shimoda's re-introverter on the right. Robots say. The one danger for him in Panzer's plow, which is perfectly handled for lifting, exploited it immediately. Panzer out now. He's heading for the box. He wants to get some points now. In case Ray Introverter regains his wheels, looks like he's jammed the box, though. That won't help him. Now he brings it out. He turns and gets the 15 points. Nice. Well, I'm in, doing the math here. Panzer was up by 10 after the gauntlet. There are 150 total points here in the labyrinth. He has to get more than 70 to secure an overall win. 75 points is Todd's goal. He's going for 25 more here at the rollers. He's across and he gets up. 40 total and now Reintroverter is being picked on by the rats. And this can help Reintroverter here. Unfortunately, the turntable isn't shifting Ted's robot any, but an aggressive attack by the rats could ride him and give him a chance. So far he's still incapacitated, and Panzer is safely back across the rollers. Oh, slams right past the rim back there. Todd is not looking all bothered by the robotic rodents. It's still two obstacles away from collision, though. He's making his way toward the spikes, trying to get the timing right. As Red Rex sneaks in behind him, now he goes across, takes the court, and now lift it. He cycles on the spikes, but he spins off and gets 15 more. He's 20 away from victory. Where does he go, man? The sand? Well, with his six wheels, he distributes his weight enough that he... There, there you see that lifting power of that plow again. His six wheels create a low enough ground contact pressure that he should climb through the sand easily. The most dangerous obstacles are the suspension bridge and the foot ramp because they require precise steering. And we've seen Todd second-guessing his controls today. That rat is keeping him away from the bridge anyway, but Todd not showing frustration, but that has to be annoying. Looks like that rat's front wheel is stuck on Panda's plow. Now it's off. And the rat heads away. Todd's lighting up the bridge. Rat is down that plow. And now Red Rat is back. Oh, the way it's too long. Red Rat blocking the bridge. Panda turns away. Now going to head for the last two obstacles. Amit Grey Rat is poking Re-Introverter into the corner there. All he needs
needs is one more contact wall and he could spin himself free. And throw up the speed bumps. He gets turned sideways. He still has some security victory here. He's in the corner now and turning towards the ramp. Todd wants a good vantage point before he risks this. This would secure the overall win. He makes it across, and there it is. Pass is built and hits a mountain of lead. Now Todd just wants to avoid that. Hopefully he gets lifted up on the ramp. Oh, he doesn't want to get caught under there. And now he's through the cross. Nicely done. Panzer, oh, baby. Now he's over the sand, rubbing it in a bit. On the any driving practice, he can get in here now. It's good use of time. The fight to the finish leaves no room for error. And Panzer's susceptible to attack from every side except that flat. He's bouncing out the rack here. Perhaps driving practice is a good idea. Reed Furter's out in the open. Gets the bump of Gray Rack, but still unable to get right side up. There's only the break left. Panzer is heading into the turn table here. Gonna have to get past Gray Rack. He's got that bow up. Now he lowers it. And now it looks like he's going after Ray Introvert. Well, Todd's not a mean guy, so I'm sure he's trying to get Ray Introverter back on his wheels, but obviously he wanted to secure the win first. Ray Introverter comes away from the wall. Now he's back into it, and it looks like his front tire might be wedged in the turntable wall. He's still spinning those back tires, and Panzer's bump doesn't seem to be doing anything. Panzer tries lifting him, but nothing doing. Time is wearing away. This isn't going to accomplish much. Gets in another little bump there. Now Panzer turns toward the gate and went for that siren. There it is. Oh, he's backing up, baby. This is academic, but he'll make a show of it. Grabs into the wall and takes the glass. Tom has done it. He takes his hands away from the controls there. Shows he's not causing any more trouble, but he's caused enough a re introverter here in the left. Ahmed re introverter had only one weakness, and Panzer took advantage of it immediately. Then he had all the time he needed to score some points and secure the win. Score for the Labyrinth, Panzer Mark 3 beats Re-Introverter 130 to 6.